Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to TV5 and Mana TV from Atlanta. I am Praveen Puram. I am with Sadhguru Sri Madhusudan Sai. Namaste Madhusudan. I would like to introduce our Sadhguru Madhusudan Sai. He spearheads a unique global mission of selfless love and service founded on the uniting vision of one world, one family, embodied in ancient India as Vasudeva Kutumbam. Since 2011, Sri Madhusudan Sai has launched rural hospitals, educational campuses and institutes of excellence to serve the basic needs of health care, education and nutrition. As a part of nutrition, today Annapurna Breakfast program serves 1.2 million children across India. And as a part of edu education, 5,000 students across India, Nigeria, Daos and Australia and getting free value-based education. And as a part of Healthcare, we have 10 super specialty hospitals in India and three abroad providing much needed free healthcare to rural communities. Over 25,000 free pediatric cardiac surgeries and procedures have been performed in these hospitals to save children suffering from congenital heart defects. What a fantastic service, Sadhguruji. All your service activities today, including the new medical college launched by our PM of India, Mr. Narendra Modi ji, on March 25th, all the services are free. How are you able to offer everything free across the different countries? I think um, if you you mentioned that there is this ancient Indian ideal of uh, Vasudeva Kutumbakam, mm -hmm. which guides the vision of these institutions and which necessarily means uh, we are one family. Now, the very question is that if you think everybody is your family, how do you charge people for doing anything for them? A father does not charge his own son or daughter for the education that he's providing them or a mother doesn't charge them for the food that she cooks for them. So also, we as an institution believe firmly that the whole world is our own, our family members and especially the poor and the downtrodden and they need all these basic rights of life which is education, health and nutrition and should be provided free. Now how do we do that? We have people from around the world, like-minded people who also believe in the same cause, who believe that these are fundamental rights for children and they must be provided free. So they associate with us, they assist us from around 30 countries who contribute towards this cause. We also have many corporates in India which contribute under their corporate social responsibility program. And as we all know globally, ESG is the new thing and many com companies who are socially conscious are also coming forward to help us with these programs and with the support of all these people, including some of the government schemes, we have been able to manage to run these institutions absolutely free of cost for the needy. And uh, this medical college also, as you mentioned, which was inaugurated by the Prime Minister, will also be run totally free. So children or students can come with just one pair of clothes on their body and if they qualify and they are deserving, they can get the entire education for free. That is the vision. So it's with the support of many people from around the world. So what is the bounding factor here? For example, you are creating number of doctors mm -hmm. and you are also giving free education. So what is the service motto you develop for the students inculcated in these institutions? Yes, because these children are made aware of the fact that while this is free for them, there is a cost involved in providing these facilities and this cost is borne by the society at large. So we make the students understand this idea that they have been supported by the society at large and when they are capable, when their education gets over or they get benefited by the system and when they're on their own, now is their duty to pass it on, this particular help that they receive from the society to those who are in need in the society. So service is one of the core fundamental value that is inculcated in all the members of the organization, especially the beneficiaries, so that they carry a sense of gratitude and that reflects in their serving the society at large when they are capable. So this is the core principle.